what's going on youtube jeans here hope you guys are having an amazing day today we are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for pokemon scarlet and pokemon violet in today's video we are having some fun with this amazing trick room team that features pokemon like annihilate metachamp and revival blessing rapska you guys already know the deal if you do enjoy the content anytime make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video and if you're not subscribed to the channel seriously yo the door is right behind me get on out of here never come back I'm just playing stay a little bit longer but definitely consider subscribing because it helps me grow as a content creator but before we get started here with today's team preview i gotta give a huge shout out to the team creator joshua thank you so much for leaving this team in my twitter dms cannot wait to use it and try to grab some wins with it but we got annihilate in that top left corner to get us started here with today's team preview annihilate has just been taken over the meta and it's just such a cool pokemon all around it's fighting and ghost type with defiant and a clear amulet as its item and ability and then moveset is fairly normal with rage fist drain punch bulk up and protect Second Pokemon is arguably the best Trick Room setter in this game. We got Furigraph over here with Armor Tail and Throat Spray. It's got Psychic, it's got Hyper Voice, it's got Trick Room and Protect. Great moveset for any Furigraph. Third Pokemon is going to be King Gambit. And King Gambit is just like Annihilate. Very strong Pokemon and legit can be used on any single team. It has Supreme Overlord as its ability, the Lumberry as item, and the moveset is fairly normal. That is super strong. Sucker Punch, Cow Tack Cleave, Iron Head, and Protect. Really can't go wrong with that. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Medicham. Never really seen Medicham on the rank ladder, so I'm super excited to use this Pokemon. It's got pure power as its ability, alongside with the Focus Sash as its item. Then it's rocking Fake Out, High Jump Kick, Faint, and Quick Guard, which is going to be really good up against, say, like E Speed Dragonites, Extreme Speed Dragonites. I think that could be really good, or even like Fake Out users. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Rabska, a new Pokemon released in Generation 9 with Synchronize and the Scissors Berry. It's rocking Earth Power, Power Gem for its two hitting moves. Then it's got Trick Room and Revival Blessing to revive an ally Pokemon. Final Pokemon is going to be everyone's favorite. It is going to be Scizor over here. Technician and the Life Form. You get this Pokemon in Trick Room. It can legit start teeing off on Pokemon. It has Bull Punch, X Scissor, Aerial Ace, and Protect. Guys, if you want to rent the scene for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this King Gambit, Annihilate, and Scizor Trick Room team. First battle coming at you guys. Going up against some pretty meta Pokemon with Farigarath, Murkrow, and then they got uh, Arcanine and Dragonite, two Pokemon that learn extreme speed, so maybe Medicham can be good in here. Then final two Pokemon are going to be Hydrogon, and last but not least, they are rocking Meowth which also has Sucker Punch. That's another first turn priority move, so Medicham's not going to be bad here. It really isn't, but I feel like I should set up Trick Room, right? I feel like speed's definitely going to benefit us. We got Trick Room for you, and then I can go into Medicham, and Medicham, I want to check its speed, because I can fake out turn one and kind of go from there. I'm kind of with that. I have Quick Guard. I got Faint. I'm all about it. I'm all about it, but we also have this little Pokemon, Frigraph, which counters the first turn priorities as well. But I'm going to go Frigraph. I am going to go Metacham. I am going to bring Scissor, and I'm thinking just King Gambit here. Seems pretty simple, straightforward. We can kind of just get after the battle that way. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Especially bringing King Gambit, they might think we have Define on it. But we're actually rocking Supreme Overlord, which is a really good ability. I feel like King Gambit learns like the best abilities in the game. It has Defiant and Supreme Overlord, which is a brand new ability. So every time we lose an ally Pokemon, or I think it's just a dead Pokemon on the field, this thing gets an attack boost, which is insane. This thing just starts teeing off. If it's the final Pokemon, it can sweep, no problem. Let's see, our opponent's going to end up leading Dragonite and Meowth Okay, I don't mind that. So no Sucker Punch is allowed, no E-Speeds are allowed. Uh, they can Trick Room as well. Uh, what should I do here? I could go into a Fake Out of my own, which I'm thinking of just faking out Meowth here. Yeah, I'm going to fake out Meowth and I am going to just straight up pop a Trick Room. That's going to be my play all day. No problem. And yo, I love Metacham's color when it's shiny. That blue, it's like not fully blue, but it's still blue. <laughs> it looks sick. It definitely looks sick. He's going to end up withdrawing the Dragonite. Who are you going to go into here? You're going to go into Frigraph of your own? You are. It's a smart little play. And now are you going to counter? That's a real question. Are you going to counter Trick Room here? That is a real question. No, he's just going to straight up Flower Trick, but I don't mind. I don't mind you straight up Flower Trick Room because I can eat that up and I'd Focus Dash anyway. Trick Room's going to get popping for us. And I feel like from here, we could just go... Mm, Medicham might need a Protect here. I do not have Protect on it, because Medicham's going to die out. It's figure if outspeeds it, but I'm still going to go for the High Jump Kick. I am going to go probably for the Hyper Voice, just chip off some damage on both these guys. But Miascarada is going to Protect here. That's a smart play. He's going to end up protecting. Hyper Voice is going to fly. It's going to get blocked by Miascarada. We're going to do a little bit of damage into Frigraph. And I feel like the Frigraph is just going to take out our Medicham. No problem. Like a Psychic. Something like that. But we get that Throat Spray boost, which I really, really like. The 
Dirt Spray is here. High Jump Kick's going to get blocked. Wow, Medjam would have outsped that Frigga Ref. That could have been some good damage we could have gotten off. But yeah, we're going to say, oh, we crashed. That sucks. That's the only reason I hate that move. If you miss or if you hit a Protect, you do some crazy damage to yourself. Trick Room's coming out here, and you're going to counter up the Trick Room. Okay. I mean, I could deal with that. I, mean, I could go in the Scissor here. Scissor's not bad. I don't mind the Scissor. I do not mind the scissor. And I'm thinking just going into a straight X scissor into one of these big one. Right? Yeah, pop trick room again, go into an X scissor into the Miyasquarada. Oh my god, yo, shiny scissor looks so good in this game. For no reason. So yeah, I'm gonna X scissor up. I'm gonna pop trick room again. I'm popping trick room. We're having trick room more. He wants trick room not to happen. I want it to happen. I need it. I need trick room to happen. I'm gonna win this battle. I need trick room right here. But yo, shiny scissor looks insane in this game. This is the best scissor has ever looked in any Pokemon game. But that's how I feel about this game. I feel like a lot of Pokemon look really, really good. Oh, don't you dare knock off my item. Not my orb. How dare you knock off my orb. And you're going to imprison Trick Room. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Next scissor brings down the Sash. Yeah. The Sash coming out here. But that's how I feel about this, uh, this what's it called? A lot of these Pokemon. Some of them are, like look like a little off and not good but then a lot of them look insanely good from here i'm going to go probably just a b punch finish you off me ask around i could protect actually i cannot go for b punches i am not allowed to i don't remember that so i'm just gonna protect here i'm just gonna go for hyper voice i feel like me ask around i might protect here as well but yo this is such a good battle i need trick him up or i need frigger at least gone Burgraph's a pain, imprisoning my trick room? How dare you? That was great swaps from our opponent. Really good swaps from our opponent. The swap into the Frigraph and just counter up my trick room. We'll see what our opponent wants to go into now. But we're just going to straight up protect. I'm going to try to hyper voice to get rid of the Miascarada and do some damage to Frigraph. And he's going to knock. Oh my god, leave me alone. Big time damage. Just leave me alone. Can my Frigraph go first? It does not, but I block that shot. So hyper voice is going to come out here, chip up some nice little damage. And how much damage are we doing to Frigraph? One more should be able to pick up KO. But Frigraph might be able to KO us. Or whatever Pokemon they bring out next. Only if I could Bullet Punch. I hate Armor Tail. It's it's legit one of the best abilities in the game. You can go into Hydreigon here. And what do I do? Obviously, I want to I wanna try to KO Frigraph more than anything. You know, I'm going to go after you. I guess I'll just Hyper Voice across the board again. My best bet. Dark Pulse coming out here. Can you eat this? Oh, oh baby. Oh no, you really doubled down into me. You really doubled down on my scissor. How dare you? Doubling down on my scissor. Smart play by our opponent though. This is a solid battle. They still have Dragonite in the back and we still have uh we still have Gambit though. And Gambit's a monster. We're gonna be able to get rid of Frigraph. He is forced to bring out He's forced to bring out Dragonite. And from here I can just go into you. I could sucker punch if I want to. But I might terrasalize. We'll see. Oh, this is scary, yeah. <laughs> this is scary. Looking at these two going up against Hydreigon and Dragonite. But we got the Gambit. Supreme Overlord. Gain strength from the Fallen. Could Thrasalize straight dark, which I think is going to be a play. Straight up Kowtow Cleave on this thing? Am I allowed to pop another Trick Room? I feel like Kowtow Cleave's got to be a play. Hopefully this thing's not a Fire type. If that thing's a Fire Terra, we're going to have a problem. But I'm going to Kowtow Cleave into this. And I don't think I can... Can I Trick Room anymore? Or is it still imprisoned? Let's see. No, I can go for Trick Room. I'm going to go for Trick Room. If I can get it, I can get it. That'd be awesome. That'd be big time plays from us. But I'm going to end up Terrasalizing. I don't think he ends up Terrasalizing. Because mine's going first. And both your Pokemon should be faster than mine. And if Terrasalizing is anything like Dynamax, which I think it is, whoever Terrasalizes first, it shows who's faster on the field. So that makes me think he's not Terrasalizing. Nope, Dark Pulse is flying. He's going to KO me here. Kalthal Cleave, how much damage are you doing here? How much damage can you do, Kalth, I believe? You can go for a low kick. That's hurting me. That's hurting me. I need a KO here. I need a KO here. I think I can, right? It's multi-scale. You little biscuit. You multi-scale biscuit. I'm going for Sucker Punch, though. We're going to Sucker Punch this thing. Look for a KO. Multi-scale definitely cuts it off for him. But this Sucker Punch should be able to KO. Let's see how this one plays. He's going to finally terrestrialize. Uh, probably the Hydreigon, right? Or are you going for E speeds? You might be going for E speeds here. I think you're going for E speeds. And that's going to be able to KO me. 
Wow, what a first battle. Solid first battle all around. Our opponent definitely outplayed us there in the beginning to put him in position to win. Which was uh, swap the Dragonite into the free ref, counter up my Trick Room, and then imprison it. But Sucker Punch is actually not going to come out now, which is unreal. Absolutely unreal. And Draco Meteor is just flying for the KO. The GG to our opponent. Not a bad first match from us. But again, they just outplayed us there in the beginning. We're going to hop through a second battle. Look for a first victory. First match didn't go the way I wanted to, but hey, that's why we do three battles in these videos. We're hopping into our second match, going up against a Bax Caliber team with Mimikyu, and then he's got Golden Go, Mi Ascarada, Tauros, Water Tauros, which is actually really, really strong, and Amoongus for some support. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? I really like Scissor here. I really do like Scissor, so I might end up leading the, the Skizzy. A little bit of Skizzy action? I'm all about it. I'm all about the Scissor action. And I might lead it with Free Graph and try to get that Trick Room out and about. Or I can go Rapska. No, we're not going to go Rapska. Frigoraph's just so much better. We're going to go for Frigoraph. Good old Frigoraph. So I'm going to bring him in there. Annihilate's not too bad here. I kind of want to see your speed. 102, not shabby, but obviously King Gambit's where it's at when Trick Room's out and about. I'm going to go uh, King Gambit. And then last but not least, it's either Metacham or Annihilate here. Hmm. Looking at his team, I'm starting to really like this uh, Annihilate. But Metacham's really cool. We haven't really used Metacham too much. Metacham does have Faint, which is solid. Hmm. What's the play here? I think I'm going to go Annihilate. I think Annihilate is the play because he has Golden Go and Mimikyu, two Ghost types. I'd rather have a Ghost move ready to rock. So I'm going to go Annihilate here. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. Let's look for a first win in today's video. But yeah, that last battle was solid all around. I thought we were going to be able to make the comeback. If that, uh, what is that Pokemon? If that Dragonite was not multi scale, we probably would have ripped into it, but I don't think it would have mattered. I really don't think it would have mattered because they would have disrupted Trick Meteor onto me. It would have been GG's from there. But we'll see who our opponent wants to end up leading. It's going to be Golden Go alongside me, Ascarada. So, I don't know if we pop a Trick Room just yet. I do not know if we just pop a Trick Room just yet. Because I kind of just want to go straight into like an X Scissor here. And then just maybe protect here. Because if I had to guess, me, Ascarada might try to counter my Trick Room with another Trick Room of its own. So, I'm just going to protect here. I'm going to see what our opponent wants to do. We might go for a Make It Rain. And if he wants to go for Make It Rain, I can protect this shot. Scissor's not going to take crazy damage to it. And then for Rigor Wrath is can block it. And then Golden Ghost Special Attack can drop. So I'm with it. I'm with it. Especially if Golden Ghost Choice. You never know. They're usually either Choice or Life Orb. I feel like there's only two options with Golden Go. <laughs> our opponent's thinking. I'm hoping our opponent pops a Trick Room. I really am. But he's going to end up Terrasalizing. Probably Miyasu out of right. Or are you going to go Golden Ghost Straight Steal? Golden Ghost Straight Seal it is, right? Yeah, Golden Ghost Straight Seal. And I, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I think he's trying to KO my my Farigraph. And I wouldn't mind if he doubles down on my Farigraph slot. Would not be bad. I'm protecting it. I'm protecting the Farigs. I am protecting the Farigraph. Gonna go for a U-turn. Cool. We get the block. I can pop a Trick Room next turn if I want to. And you gotta go for Make It Rain, right? Yeah, cool turn from us. I'm all about it. That was a really solid turn from us. Great protect from us. And he's going to end up making it rain. And how much damage is that really going to do to my scissor? Oh, that's ugly damage. That's a little bit too much damage. That's a little bit too much damage. A little bit too much damage. x are flying. Bringing that thing down to Sash. I am going to go straight for a bull punch. And now I'm going to pop the trick room. Now I'm popping the room. Now I'm trying to get the room out and about. I can still go for a bull punch, I believe. Right? Let me, let me read this and make sure. I think it's all... Hopefully it's not ally Pokemon too. Armor Tail. A mysterious tail covering the Pokemon's head makes opponents unable to use priority moves against Pokemon or its allies. Cool, cool, cool. So they cannot use first-turn priority moves, but I can. So now I'm going to pull a punch into Miascarada. He cannot sucker punch me. He's going to end up protecting, which is, I guess, rather smart. He's probably just going to drop another Make It Rain, but I get out Trick Room, which is huge for me. I get out that lovely little Trick Room. The Trick Room's out here. I could bring out Annihilate if I want to. I could potentially bulk up here, too. I could bulk up, and that's a little bit too much damage. Why is that thing doing so much damage? I don't like this game. I simply do not like this game. That's fine. Trick Room's out and about here. We get it. Now I can Hyper Voice, finish that thing off, and go from there. Uh, do I go Annihilate here? Yeah, I think I can go Annihilate, and I save my, my Gambit. I have to save my Gambi. I have to save my Gambi. I'm gonna go my Gambit. I could bulk up here, which could be solid. I'm just gonna throw a Drain Punch in this slot. Drain Punch and just Hyper Voice across the board. Just pop my third spray as well. I like it. 
I like it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. We are going to go doing too much damage. <laughs> Legit ripping into my scissor. Not very effective on my scissor. Doing almost, almost 75% of its health. That was a huge chunk. That was a huge chunk. That's why terrestrialization is so strong within this game and such like a, a prominent thing that, that you got to work with. Is it just like it makes your Pokemon double damage pretty much? So we get rid of Miascarada. We do a little bit of damage to the uh, Golden Go. We do proper Throat Spray, which is huge. And a Drain Punch should be able to come out here and get off some nice damage. Can we KO? We do. That's a really, 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 really solid turn for me. Really solid turn. Plus, we have Trick Room for the rest of the game. And I think that's what he really wanted to counter up was my Trick Room. So since we protected that first turn, that was huge. I think we, I think we, we made off well by protecting. If we didn't protect, I think we were dead. Yeah, it would have taken out my free graph. It would have just U-turned and uh, and also, what's it called? Make it rain and just taking out my free graph. He's going to end up going Mimikyu. And I think he wants to try to counter trick him here. I think that could definitely be a play. So, you know, I might just double down into, into Mims here. I could Terrasilize. What's my Terror type? It's water. I think I'm just going to bulk up here. Two physical attackers. I am going to bulk up. Now I'm just going to take off Mimikyu's Mimikyu's disguise. I think he might Terrasilize back Scalibur here. That'd be scary. Could just go straight for a Glade Rush. This could be a bad play for us. Maybe I should just double down on Mimikyu, but I don't think Rage Fist could do enough damage by itself right now. Because I did not take any hits yet. We'll see what our opponent wants to do. Protect comes out from Baxcalibur. I'm cool with this turn. I'm cool. So he is gonna want. He is gonna cut, try to counter Trick Room here. I'm just gonna Psychic and take that off, and then just bulk up. Okay. So he, he's gonna counter Trick Room. I'm gonna Terrasilize my uh, Annihilate after this, just so I can switch into Water and Dragon won't do too much damage to me. And we'll go from there. And I get that Defense Boost, which is huge. Nice little bulk up from us. Awesome bulk up. And then Trick Room's probably coming out from Mimikyu. There we go. Straight for Shadow Claw. Okay. I get down with that because he can't shadow sneak me. I get down with that. Do I fast slice here still? I think I just do this and I psychic again. Or do I double in the backs? I could definitely double in the backs. Hmm. I could definitely double in the backs, Caliber. Let me see your speed and I like how slow are you? I think you're slower than that. What's it called? I think you're slower than that, uh, Baxcalibur. Oh, he protects Mimikyu. So he protects Mimikyu here. Can Annihilate go first? Annihilate, but I just need you going first, because you can just punch straight into this Baxcalibur. And pretty much finish it off. That's huge. Okay, so you drain punch. Oh, we do not finish that off. That hurts the soul. But we get back a ton of HP, and he's probably going for his little, uh, Glaive Rush thing. To take out my... Oh, it goes for Icicle Spirit. We might be able to soak up. I think we, we soaked this up. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. It's a big time soak up. It's a big time soak up. Big time soak up. Look at my boy eating up. Look at my boy eating up. All five of them. All five of them. Probably loaded dice too. So from here, now I can go for Rage Fist. Finish off Mimikyu, no problem. You go for Hyper Voice or Psychic. I'm probably just going to go for Psychic and finish that one off. So that's pretty much GG's, right? Goes for the Ice Shard. I got that Armor Tail, baby. I got the Armor Tail. But yo, what a second match. Oh, and a Shadow Stick. Oh, big mistake. Big mistake. Can't do that with free ramp on the field. That's GG's. That's GG's. Psychic's gonna come over here, finish off back caliber. Rage Fist is boosted because of all those Icicle Spears that hit my Annihilate. And it's gonna kill this thing, no problem. Plus and plus one on attack. Plus it's stab. Yeah, it's game set match. See you later, Mimikyu. Match number two goes to your boy. We play that one perfectly. Now we can hop into our third and final battle and look for a winning record. Final match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a pretty cool team. He's rocking a Sylveon team with Scizor, Volcarona, Dragapult, Murkrow, and Storm Drain Gastron. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? I feel like I want to get a Metacham and Rapska in today's video. Rapska is pretty cool. Not a bad Pokemon. Its speed is super slow. Its special attack is really solid, actually. Really, really solid. It also has Synchronize as that ability, which could be, could be good. It really depends on the situation, but not bad. I like it for a revival blessing. So I'm going to be bringing it in the back end. We're going to lead Metacham. We're going to lead the Frig Raph. We are going to bring in Rapska. And then last but not least, they're like, go in with the Gambit. I feel like we get a lot of value off of Gambit. So yeah, I'm all about the Gambi. Gambi, Gambi, Gambi. Let's, uh, let's go. Let's go Gambit here. 
Scissor and I, I love both of you, but I'm trying to record a video. So hopefully you guys understand that it's not because you guys are worse that I don't want to bring you in. It's because Gene's got to bring the community some content. So that is the reason I'm not using Annihilate and Scissor because obviously they're way better than Metacham and Rapshka. But again, I'm recording a video and I'd like to bring you guys some good content. Let's see who our opponent leads. Opponent's going to end up leading Sylveon and Scissors. Two, two iconic Pokemon. Iconic. Two iconic Pokemon. I'm loving it. Uh, from here, I can fake out. And who do I want to fake out? That's a real question. I could Terrasalize, but that would be straight fighting. I would rather, you know, just fake out you and get this Trick Room out. Right? It would be way better. Trick Room kind of helps him, too. I'm not going to lie, but I'm still going to pop it. Even though he might just x scissor me. If you x scissor me, I'm going to be very upset. I'm going to U-turn. I can eat that up. I told you I can eat that up. I told you I can eat that up. Big time eat ups. From your boy. Big time eat ups. Imagine Sylveon's rocking the cover cloak. That would be, that would be insane. But I, I highly doubt it. I don't think you see the cover cloak too much. I'm going to Gashon. Gashon's a great swapping, a lovely little swapping. Trickroom is now out and about. Uh, hmm. I'm going for a high jump kick. I think I want to do. Just rip into this thing as much as I can before it, before he takes me out. Cause he know, like you know, he's taking me out. Put that coming out from Gashon. Taking some big damage. Taking some big dam. I'm taking some big damage. That's why Med Champ stinks. You can legit protect, and I take damage. I'm gonna take a nice chunk of damage here. Hey, look at this. Ready? This sucks. This sucks. What am I doing? High jump kick coming in here. Bang. And then no, we're gonna roll into the wall. I crash right. Half damage. Half. <laughs> damage leave me alone <laughs> way too much damage not cool not cool at all we're gonna go for the same thing here he's trying to waste out trick room turns Gashon's probably gonna take out my free graph but if i can land one high jump kick i'll be happy because then i can bring out rap scabba then i can revive a blessing we can do it that way with it i'm with it earth power coming in here hold your free graphs gone can i land this please can i please land this high jump kick can i please land it I'm dead. I think Trick Room's doing me dirty. He has better Trick Room Pokemon than me. Insane. All right, Rap Scabba. You're here to play. You're here to play. Wow, third spray coming out here. I think he has to terrestrialize that. Oh, what's it called, though? That's Sylveon. So I might terrestrialize my own guy. Rap Scabba coming out here. Rap Scabba shiny looking dope. Gambit's coming out here, shiny as well. That does look dope too. Supreme Overlord is here. And what I'm thinking of doing here is just terrestrializing you and going for a Kowtow Cleave. Because I think he's going to terrestrialize, but I might just have to go for that Iron Head though. Actually, he might protect the Sylveon. You know, I'm just going to Kowtow Cleave this slot. And I'm going to go for the Revival Blessing. I'm all about it. He might protect the Sylveon here. I can definitely see that happening. I thousand percent see that happening. So we have Rap Scabba here. Or not Rap Scabba, Rap Ska. And I have to revive a blessing. And I feel like the choice is hard on who to revive a blessing. But Medcham's not bad with the fake out. I don't mind it. I'm going to Terrasalize here. I feel like he has to protect Sylveon, correct? And if I can land a Kowtow Cleave into Gashon, that could be some big time damage. I'm going to Terrasalize straight in the dark. And we'll see what he wants to do from here. Terrasalize as well? Yeah. Probably Fire type, if I had to guess. Correct? Makes the most sense. Yeah, a lot of fire Sylveons out here, as of recently. A lot of fire Sylveons, and this is the exact reason for it. Earth Power coming in here, doing a doing a nice little chip damage. Revival Blessing coming out here, yes sir. <laughs> Reviving my team. Get Rapsky out here, and I'm gonna get. I think Medicham's gotta be the play. Yeah, let's go Medicham here. Medicham was revived. Kowtow Cleave coming in here. I think it should KO this thing, right? Did I just lose damage by reviving a Pokemon? I think I did. We don't pick up the KO. Of course, this thing's all buried out. And we can go from there. Sylveon's probably going for Heat Wave, right? Or Terra Blast, yeah. We might not even be able to eat this up. Go for my Rap Scabble, please. You are. That's fine. That's fine. He dies. That's fine. Uh, what do I do here? I think I'm going to faint the Sylveon and take it out. 
I think it's gonna be my play. I feel like Sylveon has to protect here. I feel like if we just faint it instead of faking out, we can kind of just get in for the battle that way. So from here, I'm just gonna count that cleave. And I am just going to faint this. But I feel like Sylveon has to protect, so we can take off protect with faint. And then we can just get after it that way. I'm with it. You protect. Show me the other one protecting too. You have to double protect here, correct? Waste out trick and turns as well. Yeah, that's fine. Detect. My fault. My fault. Faints can come out here. Give me that. Take that off. Solid play from us. Count that cleave's gonna come out here and probably finish off the Sylveon, right? The solid turn. That's not a bad turn. It's not a bad turn. So I'm coming in here. Bang. See you later. So we get rid of that. Uh he still has scissor. Wow. We are actually in a tough, tough situation here. We've been playing good today though. <clears throat> We've been playing solid today. We're just just losing some battles. Trick room's gone. Uh that kind of helps us out because we can kill Gaston whenever we want. But it really depends what Pokemon this is. Is it scissor again? It's gonna be scissor. Okay, so bull punch can fly from scissor. I could quick guard it. I can't quick guard it, which I'm thinking of doing. I'm gonna quick guard this. Because I really, really think that he's going for a bull punch here. I really think a bull punch coming out here. So I'm gonna quick guard set up. Show me a bull punch. Show me your B punch. Never mind. We're dead. <laughs> Never mind. See you later. You're gone. Probably should try a sucker punch in it, but was not really expecting that thing to rock out with close combats because most of them rock out with just a bullet punch and a and a uh, and like an X scissor. And plus, it already had a U turn, it, so it's probably uh, choice. It was definitely choice. It was definitely choice. But I'm gonna see if my boy can outspeed, just so I can land a high jump kick. Let's see. Nope, we don't outspeed. This scissor is definitely choice, and he's going to close combat me, finish me off, and we're going to take that out in the third and final battle. But not bad battles all around. We end up going one and two and grabbing ourselves a losing record. Not a bad team for today's video. Ended up going one and two and grabbing ourselves a losing record, but I love this team all around. I feel like this is definitely a team that if you want to use on the rank ladder, you got to uh, play with it a little bit at first, considering it has a few Pokemon that I have never used before with the Medichan and Rabska, and it's definitely a little different from all the meta teams that we see on the rank ladder. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.